we'll keep up. I'm starting to record. Well, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to the preview for Vol. Um, we're the Thursday, the 4th of November, and a pretty uninspiring card here. There's not much to, uh, to really get excited about. But uh, let's look at the first race is 1 o'clock, the 8th race program, 22 pentrometer outside. Uh, we're on the straight course at the Vol, so the false rail on the outside is 12 meters and then cuts in at the 600 meter mark. Um, the maiden plate, fillies and mares, 1,200, as I said to you, uh, pretty good start. Moo? <coughs> Excuse me. Hay fever. Right, Goddess of Light, number eight, is the favorite at eight to ten. But not cut and dried this race. Uh, I think that five might be a big improver, Dancing Dora, um, with Gavin Lorena on. It's come back after a rest and very, very nice first run in a pretty good time. I mean, a, a very, very fast time. And on times, Dancing Dora's got to give Goddess Light a lot to think about. Um, Coranti, number four, Mike the Cox runner, also looks like an improver, um, but might uh, just need one more run. Uh, we'll have a look at how, sh how uh, she goes down, but I thought she was quite a nice filly first time out. And then Moonstrike comes in with some sort of chance, but I think Dancing Dora might be the big danger to the favourite. And obviously Mike the Cox runner. Race two, maiden plate, 1,200 metres. General Hancock, well, they put the blinkers in the tongue tower last time and the improvement was... Um, uh, very, very noticeable. So he's going to be hard to beat here. But there are two horses that have had one run, and that's Castle of Glass, number four. Uh, not a bad first run, hit at the top of the speed rating. And Fire Lord um, showed a lot of pace and will improve a lot. DeMello comes up to ride it for the stable. He is a, a, the owner's stable jockey. And then uh, coming in hot, got good form as well, so that might be fourth best. Race three, 1,000 meter fillies and mares. Um, I like Slalom Queen. She said 12 to 1 this filly. A uh, comment from Sean Terry is may need the run. Well, she doesn't need the run. She'd be hard to beat because after a rest, she's had three runs after a rest. Uh, she's won one and run two places. So that's pretty good form. And she's got excellent form. I think she'll go very well here. Um, See My Vision is 12 to 10 favorite. Now, there's no value in See My Vision at all because she got a, a eight point, uh, point penalty for winning a last time out and that really is harsh for a five-year-old mare to get an eight-point penalty uh, for winning a handicap just seems um, uh, really harsh. Two, Maletta, this could be the big improver, one from two course and distance, it is second run, she should improve and uh, uh, she did run a very good race last time. Race four, uh, thousand meter fillies and mares handicap and uh, I made a two-cornered contest the favourite, Y. Airy, um, with Mike Lecoq, third run after a rest. She is a difficult customer, could win. But Alabama Anna looks like the big, big danger. She really does look like she's going to run well. She won a 1,000 metre. This has got to be, oh, she ran well behind Nara in the 1,000 metre. This is perfect for her. And I think she's properly teed up here. Uh, the horse to watch out for is number one, Diamonds and Dust. Got some very good form and will improve the 1,000 metres too and gets... Um, uh, Gavin Larina, a la Le Bleu, uh, blinkers on it has certainly improved since it had the blinkers and then ran one very poor race behind a stable, stable companion. Number race five, graduation plate 1400. Well, look at the mirror ratings here. And Caraluma uh, has come down from a 103 to a 94. She's well top of the um, merit ratings and she should absolutely doddle this race. Uh, this four-year-old daughter of Pomodoro has got very good form after a race. She's had three runs, one win and two places. Uh, a lot to like about her if she's, very, if she's right. Lemon Delight obviously got class, uh, quote, uh, Cape Town class form. She's run out of made many features there. And then the, the dark horse is number nine, La Valere. Uh, Kamala rode it last time. I think the 1400 will suit it, uh, improve, look for a good run. Race six, graduation plate, 1400 meters. Majestic Mozart, top of the merit rating, he should be able to win, but it might be short for him. So have a look at horses. Well, course of distance suited is Rockwood Globe, another one of Terry's horses coming back from a run, may need the run. Rachel Vinegar claims a two and a half on this one. 
And if he's anywhere near his best, he's going to be right there in a race like this. Bellucci won a maiden, 1,400 meters. The question mark should get the trip, no problem, out of an ideal world mare. Um, a third run, Pacey, there's a lot to like about it, but um, the distance is a jump, uh, although his last run was over the 1,400. Race seven, Mary rated 88, and they go uh, 1,600 meters. Tough race. The find of the race is two category four. Um, Calvin Abibs won five out of seven on this horse. He likes this horse a lot. And uh, whenever you see him jump on, this horse is competitive. Nordic Rebels, the eight-year-old, and uh, still running very well. Credit to Erico Verdenese. Purple Panther, well, he won a nice race last time. And um, there's no reason why he won't go in again. Theory of Light, will he stay the 1600? I'm not sure about that. Avalos Prince looks like he's very ready for this race. So Muzi, any poor man should get a chance. That's number five. Race eight, classified, 1600 meters. Uh, Wakas won well last time and got a big penalty. He got a six point penalty, Wakas, which is a um, decent penalty. A favorite, Sergei. Sergei. Uh, uh, maybe better further, this horse is my comment. And um, I, I'm just having a look at him. He's got to have um, a good chance. Grand Escape needed his last run. Elusive Swan runs on. Have a close look at Elusive Swan and put it into all your play. I see Chase Mujan sticks with the horse. And then going over the page, Kissing Booth, very disappointing she's been. So this race looks like it's one of those races that might easily be a field race because English Primrose comes into it. Willow the Wisp, head of the speed rating. Very, very difficult race indeed. So, as I say, uninspiring card. So in the meantime, we'll go and play Vegas games. Um, uh, what a uh, run spread there was yesterday with uh, India. It started off at about 1676 and ended up at 200 and they beat the run spread all the way up. When you get good batsmen like that against um, an attack, that was really toothless. They were very, very good. So watch out for them in the tournament, but today's another day. For me, James Goodman and the Interbet team, have a good one.